Hello, Bannon community. My name is Maria Baldwin, and I teach fifth grade social studies and science at the ranch. Today for Literacy Week, I will be reading Donuts and Dragons by D. Leon. In a magical kingdom far to the east lived a very small knight and a very large beast. One day, while collecting fresh herbs in a glen, the young knight discovered a well-hidden den. It was filled with ingredients they'd not seen before. The lad couldn't resist, he just had to explore. In the blink of an eye, he filled a large vat with a little of this and a little of that. The pleasing aroma of hot savory stew woke a shape in the dark that soon came into view. The knight jumped in fright and feared he'd be caught, but the beast stopped to drink from the simmering pot. The soup is delicious. Can't you stay, please? We'll cook and we'll dine and we'll share recipes. There was something sincere in the dragon's appeal, so the knight ceased to think he'd become a hot meal. The unlikely pair learned they both liked to bake. They made sea serpent cookies and unicorn cake. They created tall castles with sugar and spice and stirred up huge helpings of pixie dust rice. I think that this cake looks the most delicious. Ooh. But in that great kingdom so far to the east, friendship was outlawed between knight and beast. When a knight came of age, he was bound by a rule to spear a winged beast in a challenging duel. And a dragon was also required to fight, commanded by edict to swallow a knight. The upcoming match filled the friends with great fear, for both were required to take part that year. I won't spear a dragon, the knight said, I can't. I won't eat a knight, said the dragon, I shan't. They cooked and they baked and they made a big mess. Five plates of dessert didn't lessen their stress, but it does look delicious. On the eve of the contest, they had lots to do. They were bound and determined to bake something new. So they mixed and they measured, they kneaded and rolled, then cut shapes from dough with a circular mold. They knew this creation could well be their last and anxiously worked just a little too fast. They deep fried the dough in a kettle of oil. The dragon's hot breath brought it all to a boil. The knight speared a shape that resembled a beast. Then he took a small bite and ooh, what a feast. The puffy dessert was both scrumptious and hot, but it also gave rise to an interesting thought. I must pierce a dragon with my sword of steel, but the law doesn't state that the beast must be real. And I am required to swallow a knight. If he's made of dough, shouldn't that be all right? So they melted some armor quite shiny and bright for a cast of a dragon and one of a knight. They mixed sugar and flour, shortening and yeast, from the dough they created each night and each beast. Exhausted, they pushed the scraps into a heap, washed their hands, brushed their teeth, and fell quickly asleep. Subjects came the next day from land, sea, and air to see how each knight and each dragon would fare. They asked who'd go first. The two friends volunteered. The spectators rose, waved their banners, and cheered. The worried contestants stepped onto the field. Then the knight dropped his sword and laid down his shield. We'll be burnt to a crisp, all the people exclaimed. We'll win this first round, every dragon proclaimed. But the beast didn't aim at the helpless knight. Instead, he set all of the cooking alight. The dragon king fumed and the royal king thundered. What's going on? The shocked spectators wondered. When the dough nights were done, the beast swallowed a few, then proceeded to cook all the other shapes too. 
The knight pierced his sword through a dragon with wings. Then he and the beast humbly bowed to the kings. They don't look very happy, do they? I speared a winged beast as the law states, my sire, and I ate a knight cooked with dragon breath fire. We don't understand why we always must fight. We made these together. Please take a bite. So the doe knights and dragons were given a taste. The kings ate them all. Not a one went to waste. Because of the heroes, all dueling was banned and all kinds of friendships soon spread through the land. Henceforth, competitions between knights and dragons consisted of big offs and festive food fights. The end. Happy Literacy Week, everyone.